Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about buying cards and specifically an investment that so many people are going to be making right now and through the rest of this week, should you be making it as well? We're going to talk about that today, some market related content and also we had yet again another EA mistake with Road to the Final Cards dropped yesterday in the mini release added to the list of things that have been going on but hopefully we get compensation today for one of those mistakes that happened last week and it's been over a week now so maybe we'll be getting some of those player picks back from ea today we'll talk about that in the video today and cover everything that's going on in this game if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new let's go to sbcs because that's where the action was yesterday of course we had a daily sbc added to the list of all the challenges the winning strategy sbc was dropped pretty mid pack premium gold pack but if you're doing all of these to get um, all the completions in the objective to get those packs. It is a must do. It's very cheap. Again, 3,000 coins. So that is nice to have. That's kind of like that and the 85 plus player pick refreshing is kind of uh, what EA is trying to keep the daily login push type of grind, I think, going. And uh, I think we'll just have fun this entire week and do the 85 plus player pick on each of the videos just in case we get something cool because... Well, we didn't this time, but my club has a bunch of 84s still left over from Team of the Year, and that's when I put those 84s into because why not? So that, that player pick was mid. I have an 83 times 5 from Objectives, which I'll probably just save for a little bit um, so we can keep moving through things. But uh, yeah, that was the SBC content yesterday. The refresh of the 84 times 11, which we highlighted in yesterday's video as well. Really interesting. Like mine also says it's going to refresh in 12 hours. I don't know if that's accurate or not. Uh, we'll see, but I do kind of want to get this done just because that is not an upgrade SBC that's around too often. And yeah, packing a road to the final wouldn't be the worst thing ever. So let's go to the big SBC that dropped yesterday, though. That was an upgrade pack. It was the Icon Player Pick, one of four. So it's the same pick that we had, but they made it one of four, and it's the same price too. 86, 86, 87 with the team of the week, but with 86s and 87s being basically capped prices so most of them are extinct on the market guys this SBC is a very expensive SBC and it's kind of like we have to shift our thinking that's one of the things I wanted to talk about with yesterday's content and the SBCs right now is we're coming out of team of the year where we were able to do like everything from all the packs that we opened we had so much fodder even though the pack weight wasn't good we had so many 83s 4s 5s to be able to craft SBCs upgrade packs to get more fodder right now we're kind of back into the normal part of where we think about our clubs is you know being careful with the cards that we have and the fodder that we have being careful with the sbcs that we do because sometimes sbcs just aren't worth it i did all the icon player picks or all but one last week but this one i think i'm staying away from just because i don't want to shell out four hundred and twenty thousand coins when 87s are twenty four thousand coins apiece 88s are up uh 85s are up big 86s the ones that aren't capped and extinct on the market they're up big as well Twenty one thousand coins some of the cheapest 86s are in form and special cards because ea won't update these price ranges uh, before they drop sbcs like this and require a lot of this fodder so that's why i'm being careful and a lot of sbcs right now again if you take a look at the player sbcs it's just expensive to get stuff done with anything that is like 85 rated and above all those squads for SBCs are really more expensive than they should be. EA is trying to drain a lot of coins off this game post team of the year 100%. If you have fodder, I mean, man, it is just so high. I feel like it's going to end up dropping this weekend, but it's probably going to stay at least up there during the week this week with not a lot of packs being opened and not really a ton of tradable supply so that's the player pick do it at your own risk if you want to do it go for it just be careful with those coins again i think that's something that we have to be careful with and i would say the same about this Lautaro martinez good sbc right w dynamic image two playstyle pluses although i would argue the flare playstyle plus is probably the least useful one in the game but he has technical plus which almost makes up for that he's also got quick step and trivella no scoring play styles though in february um for a 90 rated i mean it is a live card but this spc is coming in at around 400,000 coins and it's it's fairly upvoted right it, it's a i would give this like a 7 out of 10 rating like the card itself has a lot of upvotes on it thumbs up i think if you're running a syria team especially if you need some interlinks or if you're backing inter to go far in champions league this is a decent spc i think if you had to decide between kimmich and this one though i think kimmich is the clear play 
I think that one's definitely more of a must do SBC for the, I mean, you would think higher potential for the upgrade, the links that he has with other cards that have been released recently. So this one for me is a step down from Kimmich, but it's definitely not bad. Any card with two play style plus is cool. And this one is craftable for the number of squads that it is. It's four SBCs and only 400,000 coins, some of the lower rated ones in there. And yes, definitely craftable. They're requiring a lot more team of the weeks right now. Like, I mean, you have a team leak requirement in two of these squads. Remember, like the Alex, not the Alex Morgan, Kimmich actually has three team of the weeks. But guys, team of the weeks are just not moving on this market right now. It's the gold fodder that is moving. The team of the weeks are not just because everybody has team of the weeks for days in their club. I think team of the weeks were down. Are they lower than 18K right now? How much are team of the week cards? 17,000 coins. They're just being required in SBCs, but they're just everywhere. Everybody has 83 plus picks that they did over team of the year. And it seems like EA almost upped the pack weight on informs as well, which is not helping their prices rise. So at least for now, yes, EA is requiring those, but I still don't think I'm going to invest in any of that stuff soon. It's the gold fodder that is going crazy. If you do, talking about fodder just a little bit more, if you want to buy 83s and 84s, we mentioned that in yesterday's video, I still think you can get on bid for 84s. They're probably going to go higher today with 85s being 8,000 coins. That's a huge price discrepancy, 84s to 85s. I know the 84s are a lot more packable, but still 2,000 coins, they could go up. I mean, they may, who knows, maybe 2.7 to 3,000 coins. Like if I was buying 84s, try to get them on bid for like 1.8 to 1.9. Honestly, I think you'd be able to pay maybe lower than that if possible. And then listen for like 3K or 2.9 because I think you'll get lazy sales there as we have more of these SBCs like the 85 plus pick, the 8411 refreshing during the week. That's 100% a thing that I would do in terms of the fodder. So that was basically the content that we had yesterday on this game. Nothing too crazy, but there was something that was really interesting with the mini release. And we got more cards in packs, which was expected. It was the exact cards that we thought we were going to have. But EA added to their mistake list with this Matteo Ganduzi road to the final card, guys. Because Ganduzi used to play for Marseille in League One. And uh, he, of course, has transferred to Lazio now. But his card, when it was first dropped in the game, which I believe he's been extinct at 190,000 coins the entire time, which is kind of crazy because on, play, or on PC, he's 130k. And, I mean, this is going to be a good card. He's going to be a cheap beast. But I feel like 190k extinct is a little crazy. Um, and maybe there's an issue because they took the loading screen off of a game. I think he's still in packs. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Uh, but I will say I am a little interested that when you load into the game right now, there's no Genduzi that shows. There's no loading screen that shows. And maybe they did mess around with something. I, I don't know. But um, this card at first said League One and Lazio as the club. So really uh, interesting kind of scenario there. And as I kind of look in the game right now, look for like a team list of the players that are in packs. It doesn't say anything about the road to the final team. Usually if you go over the transfers tab, it'll like show you. The whole team that is in packs and it doesn't right now so that's a little interesting at least to me maybe there's something up with that graphic and stuff but that's one of the new cards that was added to the game yesterday with a little ea mistake i mean that is a decent looking card not sure if they're gonna go far in champions league but ganduzi is always op in this game a lot of you guys know that that's why there's a lot of hype for him and he's 190k um and then the rest of the main release cards lucy bronze guru Ritten, and there was one more gavardio 900k for this card like Wow, that is that's really expensive for Gavardi, old oh man. I'm gonna be honest. That is crazy expensive for plus ones and a couple plus twos over his radioactive card that is 100k. It's the live aspect and also the rarity of at least this card that's making it be as expensive as it is. Now, let's talk about the point of this video today. We're talking about road to the final cards, guys, because these cards are some of the best investments every single time they get dropped into the game every single year right and it's because that they are live it's because of this upgrade path that people have the opportunity to buy this card put it in their club and to see it get upgraded over time there's always a ton of hype road to the finals almost always rise like i'm pretty sure it, they rise every time we can say that now sometimes the buy points and the entry points are different on these cards but live cards especially this promo since it's been in this game for so long and it's for the marquee competitions in world football it has a lot of hype, and the cards reflect that every single year. Now, some of the prices are already starting to buy, and I want to talk about, again, why the cards rise a little bit and how when we can invest, how I think it's going to go around this week. I've already ended up buying a couple of these cards, not many, 
but I've bought a couple. Now, there's two buy windows as these prices have all already started to rise, right? Let me give you an example of a card that's already getting invested in. It's Gianluigi Donnarumma. Last night, I had, I think I still have this on my transfer list even, or transfer targets. Donnarumma was like 66K, 65K on Snipe. Right now, he is 80,000 coins. He has gone up a lot in price, and there's a reason for that. So the reason that his card is going up and that some of these other cards are going up faster than others is because they have games first. And that's kind of something that you have to look into. PSG play on Wednesday, February 14th. The first games of the knockout rounds are next week, Tuesday and Wednesday, the 13th and 14th. There's Leipzig, Madrid, Copenhagen City, Lazio, Bayern, and PSG, Real Sociedad. So people see this and it's like, oh, this is the, probably one of the best investments because they have the opportunity to play first for him to get upgraded to draw or win that first game, right? That's how the upgrade path works for Champions League cards. And they have a really favorable matchup. So it makes sense that Donnarumma has started to go up. But since that card is going up, you look at the rest of the cards in this team and you're starting to see their prices rise a little bit as well. Just to show you Donnarumma, he was like 67K and then boom, he just started going up because people started investing. Yes, you could say there's probably some natural demand there as well, but I really think people started investing in a lot of these cards. So that's the cards that I would look at first. I would look at the cards that play the soonest, that could get upgraded the soonest from this first leg of the first knockout games. And I would also look at the cards that are already guaranteed upgrades because guys, there's already cards that are guaranteed to get a plus one. Based off of the way the Europa League and the Conference League do the setup now, we're gonna look at the Europa League uh, example for this. They get a plus one inform upgrade if they qualify for the round of 16, which also says includes automatic qualification. So just for example, Liverpool, Darwin Nunez, they are automatically in the round of 16 already since they won their group. They're in. This Darwin Nunez is going to an 89 rated card when some of the other ones start to get their upgrade. So he's not going to get upgraded like right away, but he will get another plus one and go to an 89 when uh, probably I would imagine that all of the teams who are going to qualify for the round 16 are qualified and in on that Friday. They're going to upgrade these cards on Fridays after the games, after the first legs and the second legs are complete, if I've read the fine print correctly. So it's going to be at least a couple of weeks till the upgrades, but these cards are rare. They are hype and people know they always rise so that you have to get in on them pretty early. And that's sort of the reason why you started to see these cards rise up yesterday. But those are the two places that I would focus on. I would focus on the cards that are guaranteed upgrades because they're already in the round of 16. And I would focus on players who have quote unquote easier matchups and stuff like that. Uh, a couple cards that I have picked up. I picked up some Leon Baileys because in the Conference League, Villa, they're in the same situation as Liverpool. They have already uh, clinched the round of 16. Leon Bailey is a card that I bought yesterday for 100 and like, yeah, whoa, 188. Yo, let me get one of those because that's what I paid for him yesterday. And he's already starting to rise. He's a pacey winger in the Prem. He's had cards before that have been very overpowered. His playstyle plus isn't like the best for a wing player. I'll be completely honest. Like ping pass, it's not bad. But like you would, I mean, if, imagine he had technical or something. And in, on his card as well, the card looks pretty solid. He's got whipped whipped pass. He's got rapid quick step Trivella and technical regular. He's four star, four star, high low work rates. He can also play striker. So he's got a lot of things going for him positively with this card, which is another reason why I wanted to get him. Um, but that's a card that's starting to go up again. I'll, I'll probably hold this, right? I'll probably hold this for a couple more days. That's what I want to talk about next. We kind of talk about who to buy, focus on those good matchups and the players that could rise the most because people have, people know there's the option to get upgraded, right? That's what you want to focus on. But um, when when do you buy these cards too? Obviously, their prices are starting to go up and it kind of differentiates each year and each season. Right now, we have Road to the Knockouts in the fall and Road to the Finals in the spring, kind of where we are now or late winter into the early spring. I want to look at how these cards fared earlier on this year and last year. This is last year's Road to the Final team. I think there's going to be multiple buy windows. And you're going to see as we look at a lot of these graphs, if you buy at any point, either in the buy window that's maybe kind of going on right now or the buy window that's like, what, two, three, four days from now, you're going to make some profit because these are live cards and they're rare, guys. These cards are so rare on the market because like nobody's opening packs. It really is a, a W investment, investment in my opinion. But let's look at this David Alaba from last year. You can see David Alaba was really low on the weekend, right? Kind of how it's been this weekend. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, he has a slow point. He's below a million coins. And then boom, he goes up a bunch. Now, one thing that's different between this year and last year is 
this year's Road to the Final promo is happening a week before any of those knockout games. Last year, these cards were in packs while the games were going on. That's why he had that big spike up in price. So it's really not truly honest to go back and look at these graphs from last year. Uh, you can look at a couple of them because they were out a little bit earlier uh, or maybe didn't play until the second week. But just kind of when you're looking back on last year's graphs, be careful with that. But like you can see, let's look at another card. Like let's look at Badella. What did his card do last year, right? His card was low on the weekend and then boom, went straight up from 340K up to 400,000 coins and then dipped down a little bit. Um, yeah, there's going to be incredible opportunities. Like his card never went down below 400 or 380K, basically below where he was that first weekend until he had a bit of a drop here in March. So his card when it came out was 330 never went below that until March, which was literally a month later. That's why these cards are so good to invest in because they almost always appreciate in value. Now, let's go with something a little more recent. We had Road to the Knockouts earlier on this year with two different teams. How's the, the market? How did it react earlier on this year to these live cards? Sometimes I think looking at the current promos that are similar for this year actually give you a better representation of how the market might react again, just because every year the market's different. Um, this year, there was a couple different buy windows for these cards. First of all, you had a window just like we're experiencing right now. Saturday, Sunday, Monday was the low. By the time we got to the midweek, Monday, Tuesday, DePaul went from 240 up to 260, 270. But then at the middle to the end part of the week, he went down bad, down to 194,000 coins before then exploding to 314K as the games are going on the upgrades are being clinched of course it is a gamble with these cards i mean i'm telling you guys to look at these cards and invest in them but we have to remember and it's really a good reminder these cards also could absolutely tank and that's why ea love putting out live card promos is because people make a lot of coins from these but overall people lose way more coins on these cards than make them it's just all about knowing when to buy when to sell and and not really putting yourself in a lot of risky situations that you can avoid by selling in the hype, which we will say a lot. So that's one thing I have to mention with these cards as well. Selling into the hype is 100% going to be the move. But for right now, a lot of them to me, especially in the middle tier, look viable for rises in this week. But I digress. Let's talk about these two buy windows again, right? DePaul went up and then went down and then went back up further. That was team one of Road to the Knockouts. Team two with like your um, the Modric, the Di Maria, the Lewandowski. I remember this Acuna card. Like, I remember early on this year watching his price absolutely explode in the midweek. See, look at this. Two big-time spikes here. He was low on Sunday. Everybody invested, invested up to 106 from 90K up to 106K. Nice rise. And then, boom, straight back down at the end of the week to 86K. And then, boom, all the way up to 112,000 coins. So I think something like this is very possible this week for these cards. And I want to tell you why. I think there's going to be two buy windows. First of all, Right now, the game is pretty quiet, and we've already started to see some of these cards go up. Uh, Lindsey Horan is another one, which I will say this, uh, just a little bit of info for the women's UCL cards. Their schedule is kind of like pushed back. Like I think the draw for the knockout rounds of the Women's Champions League is happening this week, maybe tomorrow on Tuesday or something like that. So just kind of like with the road of the knockouts, their schedule is a little behind. That's how it also is for the uh, actual knockout stages of the, of the women's cards. So be careful investing in these. Um, I think they're good investments. They have great links. Great. Like this double play style plus Haran looks insane. The bronze, the Google retin that was put out yesterday. They look nuts. But I think I'm staying away from these cards right now just because they don't get upgraded as soon. And that might mean there's less people investing in them uh, straight away. Um, but... What I would say is, I think there's an opportunity, just like you see here on this graph, is to pick up some of these cards, sell them midweek, and then as we get towards Future Stars, like Future Stars is always a really, really hype promo, guys. So I think that that could create some panic later on in the week with how things look. Um, and I think we might have a really good opportunity for this buy, sell midweek, and then... You see a dip later on in the week is maybe there's marquee matchup supply, there's leaks, there's panic and stuff like that. So I think that's a really good opportunity that we have here. I'm glad that I got in on the Leon Bailey because he's starting to go up. If you got in on Donnarumma, he's starting to go up as well. Um, I think that's a really safe way to look at it. Or if you're like, nah, man, I don't want to touch these prices because some of you guys, I understand that as well. These prices, they're expensive. Like, man, the fact that, you know, Lukaku with two play style pluses is a million coins or 900 and... Ooh, 955 like if i saw 900k i would buy it i know i don't have the coins right now but that's 900k for him seems expensive but it's a price i would pay um you know this darwin at 1.3 mil was an interesting look as well but 
you know, these cards are going to be expensive. That's just how it's going to be because they're live. They're upgrading. People know there's hype there. Um, but there's also kind of like we saw with the team of the years this last week, right? When there's panic and when people have a reason to sell cards because of whatever, like there can be some big drops as well. So that's what I would say. I think there's two buy windows this week. And again, if you want to try to pick a card, do a little research or figure out one that you want in your team and just be like, okay, I like this card. I'm going to go pick it up. I'm trying to stay away from the really expensive ones like Cruz, Gabby Jesus, and Rafael Leal, even Ansu Fati. I'm staying away from those. But for the rest of the team, especially the ones that are like usable, it's plugged straight into people's teams. Um, I think there is real opportunity. That's why I really like Leon Bailey as well. I think there's real opportunity for an investment and for some profit. So they're rare but they're a bit expensive, but that's how these cards always are. And we talked about that just because of the way we're coming out of team of the year in the market and stuff too. So that's a lot of talk about the market and stuff, but I really wanted to spend time talking about that because this is one of those promos where everybody invests, but for decent reason, the cards get upgraded. And when that is there, there's a lot of hype and they're really rare. So I think there's good things coming and there's profits coming for those cards. Now, let's get into other content that is coming into this game today, or at least very soon. We have, yet again, another Evolution leak, and we talked about it yesterday, but it's the official stats. This one looks mid to me, man. I mean, the Evolution that they dropped just a couple of days ago, the Hero Superpowers one, that one looked mid to me. This one looks mid to me as well, like max overall 88. That's Is that the highest max overall? That we have had this year uh in a evolution i i don't know uh you can really upgrade some cards here pretty nicely like this darmian if you had the bruno gima reich if you have kalulu and i think that some of those cards are up a little bit on the market kalulu is forty two thousand coins uh yeah that would be he is extinct so he is definitely up in value from 20 something k that he was earlier because of this leaked evo but guys anytime they've dropped an evo this year that's like a specific like a card type specific, whether it's the hero, whether it's the icon, or now Road of the Knockouts, it's just not good. I don't know what it is. Like, I would like another nice Evo, um, and I think we're being set up for that because the number of Evos out right now is kind of lower than what it usually is. But that evolution doesn't look too hype. I would say selling the hype on almost all those cards, except for their price ranges are really low. So I guess if you have a Kalulu, if you have a, I don't even know who else fits that Evo, that's up a lot in price. Maybe you just hold on to the card because it's any position and see if they update the price ranges. But I think this week's gonna be a little bit of a slow week, guys. But that means it might be a good week to trade. That's why I bought a bunch of cards. I picked up an Essien. Uh, don't sleep on these Team of the Year honorable mentions. These cards are gonna be good to trade with. The Team of the Year cards still as well. Like this Kim and Jay, he was 260 yesterday and I just picked one up for two. I don't think, I, I didn't get a 245. I think I paid 247 because I was like, that's a card that I see footbin movement on, and that's a card I just want to trade with. So that's one that I like, um, and I, I just like these cards. I mean, he links to Davies, he links to Kimmich and stuff like that. So that's why I tried to pick up some Kim Min Jae. Is he below 250 still? Nah, he's right at 250. So the most I would pay is like 247. That way, if you're selling, hopefully at like 267 to 270, you're netting yourself around, that's almost like, what, 10K per card? It's not bad. So... Yeah, it's a decent flip on some of this stuff. Just watch the market and just, again, remember what cards are the most hyped at the moment. And these new ones are hyped. But let's talk about today because I'm hoping that today also brings some compensation for some player picks, right? Mondays are upgrade pack days, but also it's the day where like EA gets back to work, right? You think about it. They had last week with team of the year. They're getting back to work maybe today. Hopefully today is a day where they give back compensation for the hero player pick, which we are due compensation for. Let me remind you, uh, this is the real compensation situation that we've been waiting on uh, because it was literally a week ago when they identified an issue with the 87 plus that was all 86 plus, uh, And they said players who received an 86 plus will be contacted in game in the coming days. And we are now in that window where the coming days is a week on from this which seems very possible to be compensated so i would watch out for that today also mondays kind of we're getting back into this like normal promo mode right mondays are usually upgrade pack days 80 plus player pick 80 plus double upgrade something along those lines i would imagine they drop an upgrade pack for road to the final they know that people like upgrade packs they try to drop those 
each and every promo now. I think we'll get something today. Some player picks to rinse through. Unlimited repeatable. Not going to complain about. I mean, we had the 77 times 3 crafting that is technically still available. So maybe they'll drop us an 80 plus unlimited player pick. That would be cool. And then, guys, I don't know what else is going to be coming today. But watch out for the EA tweet, uh, the EA content tweet or Instagram post where they've been posting them recently. And the last thing I'll say is watch out for leaks because the content's been slow or is slow. And a lot of people are probably going to be looking for leaks. Who's this? Uh, Left-wing Dutch PSG. Martins. 84 rated. Wow. 83 times 5. And I get an 84 rated. Cooked. Oh my gosh. That was absolutely terrible. Anyways, I think that with a slow week of content, the leakers that have that info, they're going to try to just hype it up a little bit. So there might be some leaks that slowly start to roll out in the next couple of days. I don't think that would impact the market on these road to the finals too much. Um, I think it'll be later on in the week where you start to see some of those movements negatively happen those uh, or impact those cards. But I think the road to the finals will do good on the market today. I think they'll do good into the week. And I think it'll be a great time to trade. It's just going to be a little bit slower than it was last week. That's for sure. But I'm glad that Foot Champs is extended because I'm still excited to use some of the new cards that I was crafting from my team uh, and got from SBCs and from Team of the Year, that whole thing. Like, I'm very, very like excited actually to try out uh, Alex Morgan and some of these other cards that I haven't been able to play a ton of games with yet. So I'm glad that Foot Champs is extended for that and so that I can procrastinate Foot Champs um, and, and play it on not the weekend anyway. So I'm kind of excited for that, but hopefully we have a little bit of a menu grind that's available with a player pick today. That would be very helpful. But guys, that's the video for me today. If you enjoyed it, drop a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate for Count. See you guys in the stream today. Peace.